Let's jump into the Sean McVay news. It was all over the place on Sunday for the the Sunday morning shows and uh, how uh, Sean's going to take some time away and that he might step away as head coach of the Los Angeles Rams. What what did what did, insight might you be willing to provide us on this, Andrew? Yeah, I think it's a really tough year. Obviously, you win the Super Bowl, you're at this all-time high. You come back uh, and you really look at their season. You don't start off the way you really want to against the Buffalo Bills. And then the injury train just starts and never ends. I mean, obviously, historic injury rate uh, up front in the offensive line. I think they set the record for the most different groups consecutively starting in a game. Uh, so it was, it was a tough year for that entire organization, I think, because when you go from being at that level to now, hey, we're just finding ways to contend in games. Um, I think that was tough on him. It was tough on everybody in that building. And obviously, a lot of other things in his life happened in this last year. And um, all things that, uh, you know, lead to, you know, you feeling stressed out and worn out, you know. And so I think it's going to be him taking some time and figuring out what's really important to him and, and who he wants to be and what he wants to do. And, um, man, it's just hard for me to imagine him not leading the rooms. I mean, one of the most impressive things about him when I met him when he took the job is his ability to capture a room and and lead a group of people. I thought it was just so rare. Uh, I've been around some really special ones when they talk, everyone listens and, Nick Saban being one of those guys that can just, you know, something about him, you immediately want to sign up to go wherever he is. And uh, Kirby Smart as well, he was there when I was at LSU too. And they're both like that and being around them and their success. And and now Sean, I, when I got to be around him, I told him that. I said, man, since Nick Saban, I really hadn't been around somebody like that. So I would be shocked to see him not leading a group of men uh, playing this game that he loves so much. Well, I mean – as you know from your past year, uh, a television audience is also a room. Yep. And so is a production meeting and somebody in a position that he would hold on a on a set or a booth would be a leadership role in that regard as well. And he's so terrific at that, uh, so terrific at that. But he's also so terrific at coaching as well, as you pointed out. And you've also been around him Socially, we all know the story about, you know, Cabo yeah. and, and how, you know, Stafford, um, you know, was in Cabo as well last year. And that was the, the beginning of what wound up being your final year in a Super Bowl year. And that's my long setup to ask this question. Is he too hard on himself? Is that what it is? Like, you've been there? Like, yeah, I mean, I think that's he, a fact. I he mean, beat you himself know, up too much? You know, think? there's other things that happen. I mean, from everything that was going on with even his wife, Veronica, and, and, in her home country and then his grandfather and just you just think of like when life's just coming at you at a time where it's like man you just feel like everything uh is snowballing not in the direction you want it right. that, that just there's just tough adversity after adversity in your life but you know there's also really good highlights too i mean getting married to veronica this summer sure. winning a super bowl i mean there's some great moments in his life and that's kind of what i mean is when you're in that road I, you know i think people think sometimes you know we just show up on sundays and play when he's in that element of preparing and just every week trying to lock in and focus and then everything that's going on around him. I think it's it's what people have to understand is Sean is an extremely open human being. He wants to be real and honest with, with exactly how he feels. And so sometimes you can take everything he says and try to take it somewhere. And the reality is he's telling you every expression and emotion he has in that moment. So that's why he needs a second to step away. All right, I've already like, kind of said where I'm at. Now let me figure out what I really want to do and what what is important to me and my passion going forward. Can he broadcast? Can he be in front of a TV audience and kill? He will absolutely be He'd exceptional at that. He will be Cause unbelievable. Because that, that genuineness, genuineness that you just described is exactly what can help somebody transcend. You know, yeah. like the guy I'm seeing on the air with you is a guy that I I know when you're not sitting in the mic and right here as well. It, it's it's not it's not easy by the way to pull that off that's why he'd be so terrific at it and when he came on this show just a few weeks ago um prior to the the monday night game that that the that the rams played um i, I had him on and he was talking about this is really humbling this season i'm learning yeah. things about myself that i never thought i would learn i asked for an example and he didn't get specific about it but it was really jarring for me to hear that like i never thought in a million years that i thought that he could have any sort of self-confidence question or 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 should or he's just seems to be such a uh, uh an energetic guy that would ever like get down on himself like i hope he's not beating himself up too damn much here like like yeah, injuries happen and, yeah. and and things happen but he's exceptional at what he does yeah i think it's interesting it. you look at nfl head coaches man there's a lot of stress there and sometimes 
uh, especially when you look at his case, you have so much success so early. Yes. That you, maybe you don't realize, like, man, you know what? There's a lot of coaches out there that are just dying to have a winning season, yes. much less have all the success you've had. And so I think it's really just putting things into perspective, to your point. Like, you know, are you stressing on yourself too much to be, like, inventive and you were this – you know, the boy wonder, the genius, and you got to always come up with some way to be more schematically better than everybody else yes. and impress people with a new invention, of, you know, of offense or whatever. And, you know, what, how about just being yourself and being exceptional and, and everyone already thinks that of you. And I think for him, it's it's just realizing, you know, that all of us at times can put too much stress on ourselves. And I think that's really what he's trying to see. Is it that or is it that I want to do something else? And uh, I just hope for him, he, he finds it and what's going to make him happy. And I really think the guy's so talented, he's going to be good at whatever he wants to do. Does he need to get that ayahuasca trip with Aaron Rodgers or something like that? And then we can work through this? Or Yeah, what? I mean, I, I don't know. You know, Tony Gonzalez is an ayahuasca guy, I didn't too. know so, that. Yeah, yeah. So, a, uh, I yeah, so he, I think he's done it before, too. So, you know, yeah, I mean, maybe he needs that. Maybe he needs a little relaxation time. Him and Aaron can go, you know, check it out. Take the floor, too, if you go, though. <laughs> he, he probably needs it as well. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.